Uh, can I turn next to Sky News? Uh, thank you, Prime. Just quickly following up on Ben Wallace's remarks, he also uh, likened uh, NATO allies to being like Amazon, uh, giving delivery of um, weapons and, and protections for the Ukrainians. Are you worried that that might offend President Zelensky, who you have a good relationship with? And just following up on uh, President Zelensky and your, your talks today, you talked clearly about full NATO membership in the future. Um, once this war is over, do you think that accession will happen quickly in the way, uh, the sort of timeline that it did with Finland and, and, and now Sweden? So how quickly do you see that membership happening? And, and you've had a very successful summit, but back home it's tough. You're 20 plus points behind in the polls. You could face three by-election defeats next week and all of your five pledges are in doubt. Now, you're a prime minister who doesn't like to promise what he cannot deliver. Are you beginning to worry that you have over-promised domestically and that you can be punished at the ballot box, not just next week, but in a general election too? Thank you. So with regard to NATO membership, actually I think this summit has been, as I said, a very important moment because you had the alliance affirming unequivocally that Ukraine's rightful place is in NATO and Ukraine will become a member of NATO. That's something that UK has said. It was great that the alliance has echoed that position. And we saw at this summit meaningful progress on that path towards eventual membership. Uh, you've seen the removal of the membership uh, action plan, as the Secretary General described it, that's turned the process from a two-step process into a one-step process, recognising what has already happened. You've seen the comprehensive assistance programme be supported, uh, and that will provide support to Ukraine. Uh, but also, um, what you've seen is Ukraine sitting alongside me and other allies in the first meeting of the NATO-Ukraine Council. Uh, these are very significant uh, movements, moments along Ukraine's journey to membership, uh, and all of that was complemented by the declaration from the G7 allies to provide long-term multilateral security guarantees, something that, as I said, I spoke about in February at the Munich Security Conference. Uh, and I'm highly confident that very quickly what you will see is other countries signing up to that same pledge. It won't just be the G7, it will be others. And if you take all of that together, I think what you've got is, actually President Zelensky's words are probably better than mine to describe it, but he's just described it by saying that the outcome of the Vilnius summit is a meaningful success for Ukraine and that he is bringing home significant security victory for Ukraine, for his country and for its people. Those are President Zelensky's words about what this summit has achieved for him and for his people. And I'm very proud, and everyone should be very proud, that the UK has had a, a leading role to play in that outcome. Uh, and with regard to uh, your other question, Beth, all I'd say is, look, I am absolutely laser focused on delivering for the British people. You know, their priorities are my priorities. Halving inflation, because that's the best way that we can ease the burden on them and the cost of living. Um, cutting waiting lists, because it's wrong that people have to wait as long as they are currently. And about stopping the boats, because because that's about simple fairness, uh, as well as everything else. And just most recently, you could see us delivering on that just yesterday in Parliament, passing some of the toughest legislation that any government has ever passed when it comes to tackling that priority, opposed at every turn, I'd say, by the Labour Party. But that is just a demonstration of my commitment and my government's commitment to just relentlessly focus on the things that matter to the British people. And when I set those uh, priorities, I didn't do it because it was easy. And uh, you talk about the promises and delivery. I did it because they were the right things to focus on, and I am ambitious for the country, and I'm ambitious for what I want to achieve for people. So it's right that I set ambitious uh, priorities and targets, and it's right that we strain every sinew to meet them, and that's what I'm doing.